Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Cami from Miss Cami's Preschool. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of my classroom. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends and family. And let's get started. cubby system where our kids keep their personal belongings. The cubby shelf is from Walmart and the bins from Target. Um, each child in my class has their own bin. We used to have a wall hanging here up on top of this where we had our parent board, our parent information, the menu, a calendar, etc. But we moved that to another part of our classroom. This is my office space. Um, you can peek in there real quick, but we'll do a tour, a formal tour in the office at a different time. We use a system called Brightwheel on our iPad. That's where the parents check in. And we use those bins for just like teacher storage. Over here, we have a magnet board. It's an old drip pan that we got from one of the auto supply stores, but we use it for different interactive activities. Right now we have a rainbow themed activity where the kids can put together a rainbow, but we do various different things on that magnet board throughout the day. Right here is where I keep my puzzles, my trays, some extra magnets. As you can see, we've got tons of trays. We got metal trays also for magnets. Um, these magnets I got at Target. I love these. They had the little faces on them and they were in the taller dollar spot at Target, which is an extra bonus. So there's some cute little shapes that the kids can put on the magnet board in the magnet center. I got these magnet boards, most of them from the Dollar Tree, and the nice thing about them is you could actually take them straight to the table with a basket of magnets. Probably works better with some smaller magnets than what I'm using right now. But with a basket of magnets, take them to the table, and then it makes a tabletop activity also. Okay, moving along, skipping right over to our block area, which... Right now, my centers are not very put together and organized because really there's blocks everywhere. But over here, we have some large dinosaurs, some farm animal stuff, smart max, wooden blocks. We've got some tree wooden blocks and some gears, bristle blocks and train tracks. And my dad was super awesome and made that shelf for us. It needs another coat of paint, um, but I've had it forever because it's so durable. Over here, I have our kids' take-home trays where they take home their work. I love rainbows, so you'll see a lot of rainbow stuff in my classroom. And up in the shelves right there is where we keep some of our arts and crafts supplies at. But that's going to have to wait for another day to show you inside that. Here is our trays like we were talking about earlier. This is where our kids take home all their take-home work and their arts and crafts. We've got um, several manipulatives over here. We have some Legos. Um, our little five piece, I think actually, I'm sorry, a six piece rainbow kit. These are some little foam blocks that I got at Dollar Tree and I added some Velcro to. The kids can stack them. It's just kind of a nice, oops, what is this doing in here? Looks like a little bead. Um, but this is kind of just where we have all of our manipulatives at. Over here is our home area. As of right now, it's a dramatic play, but it's into a home area right now. This um, I got from Amazon and it has been a piece of junk. It was about $100. It lasted maybe one day before all the doors fell off and everything kind of broke off. This little table I got at Ikea and a couple of the chairs are painted black and we had two chairs painted um, or that were just the natural color. Up here is kind of just um, more teacher stuff and storage because as teachers we do accumulate a lot of stuff and this is where I moved my parent info board over to. Um, it's a little bit more smaller. I have our licensing requirement postings over here. And this is, like I said, I kind of have block centers all over our class. <laughs> here are our puppets. We actually got 
almost all of our puppets were donated by a great friend of mine, Maureen. She used to be a home provider and started to work with me and she brought us a whole ton of puppets. This is one of our kids' favorites. Hello, hello, I'm Kangaroo. And Kangaroo has a little pouch for her zo Joey. It's adorable. I've always been a parent and a teacher that is a huge fan of books and reading. If there's nothing else you do with your child, if there's nothing else you do with your students, please read to them. It is just an amazing learning tool. So our class is always full of books. We have tons of books that the kids can use and at their discretion, they can just go get whatever book they want. These are their bookshelf and their book basket. Back here, I also have some of our magnet boards, which you may have seen in some of my past YouTube videos. Um, I use magnet boards, felt boards, and bulletin boards a ton to help with our learning activities and give tangible hands-on items for the kids to utilize in our lessons. I actually made this felt board. It's just a piece of felt, old felt that I stuck on with some hot glue to the back of a bulletin board. And so now I actually have two boards that I can use in one. And I just store them back here to keep them out of the way whenever they're not being used. It's actually a really good place for them. Over here, I have um, just some little decorative stuff on top of my shelf. There's one of my pictures that one of my preschoolers painted for me. And on my walls, I have just the typical letters, an art gallery, some numbers on the other side. Since this is also my home, and especially the front entry to my home, I try to make sure it feels very welcoming and a smooth transition into our decor style. I get a lot of questions about where I get my furniture. So this piece right here was from Ikea. And inside of this, I have like all my teacher tools, activities that I use on a regular basis, or if I'm using for the week for our theme, I can just reach in there, pull out what I need. There's lots of like little counters, manipulative language activities, homemade curriculum, that kind of thing. Over here, I have lots of different toys and materials that the kids can pull out during learning centers or free time. These are our magnet tiles. Um, that bucket is actually just all out of shape, but these magnet tiles are the favorite in our class. I've had older siblings come in. I have kids that I've had start since two years old, and I even have a 10 year old myself, and even he loves playing with the magnet tiles. And so um, I just kind of am demonstrating here how you can build with them in case you don't have them in your program. But um, by far, the most favorite thing in our class is the magnet tiles. They never get put up. They're always out. And um, they're just a really fun tool to play with. Another teaching tool that we really love in our class is the squigs. They are such a great fine motor tool and they're just fun to play with. I actually got those at a toy store that used to be local here in Mansfield. Here's another one of those Ikea shelves where you can have the organizational bins. Um, these are for kind of just mostly paper so that I know where my paper is when I need it. Over here is some of our, inside that cabinet right there, we have some more arts and crafts stuff. And a lot of times I do my reading over here. So we have some teacher books. Um, I don't let the kids generally mess with our teacher books just because I want them to stay in good condition. Um, there is our dollhouse, another one of our favorites. We actually just got this brand new dollhouse over the holidays. Um, and it moves all over. We actually move this dollhouse regularly to kind of just get it out of the way. And inside here is where we keep our nap mat roll-ups. Oh my goodness, look how messy it is in here. Um, but we keep our nap time roll-ups in there and our kids put those on top of the red and blue vinyl nap mats. So, um... Over here is our writing area. And generally when school is actually in session, when we have all of our students and we're not dealing with COVID, we have markers and crayons, scissors, glue, stickers, and scraps of paper that they could use in there to make little arts and crafts. Or sometimes I'll put um, words on that little black um, pocket chart right there. And I'll put like certain sight words or names or things that we're working on. And over here, and this is another question I get a lot, is where do I get our tables from? My dad actually made these tables. Uh, I wanted to make sure, our, like I said, I wanted to make sure that our class was a extension of our home. And he made this table dream a reality. These are so durable. These chairs we got from Amazon. 
and I had forgot to mention how much I love the little shelf under our tables because we can keep our manipulatives or tabletop activities right under the table and the kids can pull out when they need to. But um, I'm just gonna kinda do a zoom around. This is our classroom. And thank you so much for watching our tour today. If you have any questions, definitely drop them in the comments below. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to our page. We're gonna be putting out a lot more fun content and um, even some weekly recaps. And I hope that you guys can become a part of our YouTube family. You can also join me on Facebook or find me on Instagram. But make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, comment and share, and thank you so much for watching.